Jen here from 3D Universe with my Flux Bima laser cutter. Um, as some of you know, a few months ago, my boss sent me the laser cutter to kind of do an experiment and see what happens when you give a newbie who has never laser cut anything in her life a laser cutter and find out if she can unbox it, assemble it, get it to work, and then etch and cut things without burning the house down. As you can see, the house is not burnt down. I have learned how to use the laser cutter and I have started doing materials testing. Sometimes it goes well, sometimes it doesn't, but I'm learning and um, it's been really cool to experience this. Okay, so here we go. Um, enjoy. The first material I tried on the Fox Bima was the plywood. Um, it came with a little little piece of plywood to try making your first BMO coin. Um, I did that successfully and then I tried other things to cut with the um, plywood and discovered that it really depends on what the plywood has going on inside of it as to whether it will cut or etch without burning or discoloration. So the original settings for wood on the BMO are a great starting point, but it will really depend on what is um, going on inside of the plywood that you're using and the thickness and um, the different layers that might be um, part of the plywood you've chosen. So you'll want to make sure that um, you do a test spot first and uh, dial that in. After playing around with plywood for a little bit, it was suggested to me to try MDF. Um, and I actually fell in love with MDF. I really like how smooth it cuts, um, how nice it etches, and that it is less likely to have um, discrepancies in the, in the height and the layers, and you're less likely to have um, discoloration from different chemicals that might be in the plywood versus the MDF. And I think that going forward, I will be using MDF way more than plywood. We had some little apple wood rounds of uh, material laying around in the garage and so we put those on the laser cutter and etched a couple designs. Um, we left the settings at wood etching that came with the BMO and it went pretty well. I think for the future we would probably etch a little deeper, but um, this turned out really well. We wanted to see what would happen if we tried different kinds of leathers in the laser cutter both etching and cutting. I watched a YouTube video um, that helped me understand that it was better if you wet your leather first before putting it into the laser cutter to help reduce um, burning. Uh, we discovered that using the preset settings um, for leather on the BMO was helpful to get a, a an idea of what you needed, but as you can see through most of these examples, um, the etching turned out fairly well, but when it came time to cut, um, depending on the type of leather, what kind of finish it had, and the thickness, um, most of them ended up getting really burned and destroyed. So I recommend that you um, do a little test cut first before you start really working on your designs and you'll need to dial it in for each different kind of material that you're using as far as leather goes. Another material we tried was bone. We etched some Viking runes onto the surface. There are no settings on the Flux Bimo for bone or antler, so we used the same settings that we had used for leather and it turned out beautifully. We wanted to see what would happen if we etched onto antler. Normally it takes my roommate uh, an hour or so to etch things by hand and thanks to the laser cutter, now it takes nearly seconds. And it turns out beautifully. Another fabric that I tried was felt and the first um, pass through didn't go so well. I left all the settings the same as they came on the BMO and as you can see, the first test it disintegrated and went pretty
pretty much all the way through on the edge part. So for the second try, I bumped everything back a bit and it turned out a little bit better, but I'm not sure that I um, have really dialed it in yet. So I'll keep experimenting with felt going forward. I wanted to see what would happen if I put denim on to the laser cutter. And I was surprised at how it actually turned out looking like a gold color instead of the brown and the burnt looking colors that I was used to with wood and other materials um, during the etching process. I left all of the settings as they came on the BMO for fabric etching and um, this is the result. I wanted to see what would happen if I etched a design onto tote canvas bags. Um, I have a future project that I want to work on that will require tote bags and I was dreading having to hand paint everything. So I am really excited about the fact that I can just make a design and throw it onto the laser cutter and bust them out real quick and they will be exactly the same every single time. Another material that I really enjoyed working with was cork. Um, I was really excited to see how easy it was and how much contrast there was between the etch and the cork background. Um, you can hold up the coaster that I made and you can see the design from a distance and it just um, was, was beautiful. Another material I tried was acrylic. I absolutely loved how easy it was to work with and how smooth the lines were when it was cutting. I am looking forward to using this material for some future projects. We tried putting paper into the laser cutter um, and I was really interested in how it didn't actually burn the paper. I expected that it would just catch on fire because you know, normally if you put a flame next to paper, it will go up in flames. Um, but it was really cool to watch it etch and then cut and it was quick and easy and simple. I wanted to make um, one of my little buddies a box for his rock collection and I found a nice paper mache box at the craft store and because there were no preset settings on the Flux Vimo for this, I just used the fabric setting um, for etch. I didn't end up cutting any paper mache but um, the etch worked wonderfully and it turned out great and he loves it. It's full of rocks now. Score! I wanted to see what would happen if I laser cut a leaf. The first try was a disaster. I didn't realize I needed to hold it down with something, so the laser scooted across and picked it up and folded it in half and burnt it. So I had to abort. The second try went much better, um, but first I had to stick it down with double-sided sticky tape to keep it from moving across the bed. Um, that went okay until I tried to pull it off. Um, and then I tried to take the sticky tape off of the leaf and that pretty much destroyed it. So I got a nice picture of it before I um, tried to take the sticky tape off um, to prove that I could do it, but I will have to come up with another way to laser cut leaves and hold them down. I did attempt on a different kind of leaf and that turned out pretty well. Um, the leaf was thicker and less fragile so I was able to get the double-sided sticky tape off of that one and um, keep it nice and fresh. Ta-da! As you can see, I learned how to cut and etch on my Flux Bima laser cutter with different materials some of them are successful, some of them not so successful, um, but I learned from each and every one of them. And I hope that the different materials that I cut and etched uh, give you an idea of what kind of things you can try in your Flux Bima laser cutter. Up until this point, I've mostly just been doing materials testing and I am looking forward to seeing what I can do as my own artist on my own time um, to create things that I didn't think I could before. So I would love to interview some of you if you have some really cool projects you're working on, 
Um, please email me. Please leave a comment. I would love to talk to you. If you have made something cool on your laser cutter, please tag us on social media so that I can find you and leave you a fun comment. Um, sometimes I get a little quirky. Go figure. Um, but I absolutely love seeing what other people are doing with these machines. So please um, don't hesitate to tag us. I would love to see it. Check us out at shop3duniverse.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us or give us a call. Check us out at shop3duniverse.com and um, ask us any questions. <laughs> yeah. Ta da! As you can see, I learned to etch and cut on my flux. <laughs> Check us out at shop3duniverse.com. <laughs> There's a mouse in my garage. <laughs>